We, we want to start with a, a big story that's rocking the tech world because it came out today that the internet giant Yahoo has had a widespread and serious data breach that could affect 500 million users. Now, Yahoo is planning to take immediate action to solve the breach as soon as they Google how to do that. <laughs> The hacker in question, come on, the hacker in question has gone public saying he actually stole the data from Yahoo in 2012, which means it took them four years to notice. Like, even... <laughs> even Yahoo isn't using Yahoo. <laughs> Yahoo's users were relieved to hear that the company is vowing to take action, while Hillary Clinton was excited to hear that there's an email scandal that doesn't involve her. <laughs> Nothing to do with this. It's amazing. <laughs> Speaking of Hillary, yesterday her campaign announced that they would have cast members of the White House TV drama The West Wing campaigning for her in Ohio this weekend. And this will really help Hillary secure the vote of people who were already 100% voting for Hillary. <laughs> Like, is anyone changed? Like, the West Wing was cancelled a decade ago. The, pe the people who are excited about this are the same people who are freaking out about their Yahoo email getting hacked. <laughs> but hey, maybe this is a smart move. Sure, Hillary has characters from a TV show campaigning for her, but it's still less weird than having a character from a TV show be your actual candidate. <laughs> Finally tonight, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about this story because there is apparently a new trend in plastic surgery that is on the upswing. According to several sources, an increasing number of men are electing to receive injections of scrotox. <laughs> which is exactly what you think it is. <laughs> it's Botox for your scrotum. <laughs> And now, I think I speak for most men when I say, why? <laughs> but who's getting this done? Like, this is my impression of what would happen if a doctor recommended this for me. He'd go, it's very simple, James. We inject a needle into your... Nope, I'm good. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> but, uh... Thank you. Scrotox apparently removes wrinkles. <laughs> Which is good, you know, you wouldn't want your balls to make you look old. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure ball wrinkles aren't even in the top ten problems women have with a man's genitalia. <laughs> now, apparently this operation also, and I quote, helps ease sweating. You know what else would help ease sweating? Not stressing so much over whether your testicles are attractive. <laughs> This is a stress you don't need. Like, let's be honest, it's not going to look natural. You're not going to get into bed with a woman and she's going to be like, Mark, <laughs> did you glue a ripe nectarine to your penis? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but there, there is a new wrinkle in this story. Well, there was until it got Scrotox. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Honestly, no. Come on. Whoever wrote that joke is going to get sacked. <laughs> there should be a better punchline here. I feel like I left you hanging. <laughs> no, but no, this story is pretty nuts. Speak... <laughs> pretty nuts. Have them with Scrotox. Uh, is this too much? I don't want you guys to start getting testy. <laughs> Let's forget this. Let's get the balls rolling and have a look and see who's on our show tonight. <laughs>